Hello, this is fifth video on my channel. Let's discuss a lead code problem and another sprinkler OLT question which is asked recently with the same idea. You are given a zero index positive integer array nums and positive integer k. A pair of numbers is called excellent if both numbers exist in the array and sum of the number of set bits in bitwise over of num1 and num2 and bitwise and of num1 and num2 is greater than or equal to k. Return the number of distinct excellent pairs. The length can go up to 25 and maximum number can go up to 29 and k is less than or equal to 60. Coming to the first example 1, 2, 3, 1 and k is equal to 3. The excellent pairs are 3 and 3 because both are equal and their and and or are also equal with values 1, 1 and 1, 1 with total set bits of 4 which is greater than or equal to 3. So it is an excellent pair. Similarly, we can check all the pairs and total 5 pairs satisfy the given condition. So the answer is 5. In the first while, it's, it looks like we are involving two different numbers with two operations. So there is no other way to optimize it. And we should check all the pairs which are n square approximately. But if we look somewhat closely, the sum of the number of set bits in num1 or m2 and num1 and num2 is greater than or equal to k. So if we try to simplify this in terms of 1, or in terms of 2, we can check for a single number and we can find how many others satisfy the given condition. For example, if we find some mathematical operation which involves some function of 1 and plus some function of 2 is greater than or equal to k. So we can find function of 1 and based on this we can find the values which satisfy function of 2 greater than or equal to k minus function of 1. Let's take some observations. If the values of x and y are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, the bitwise and is 0, 0, 0, 1, and the bitwise or are 0, triple 1. So, based on this, if we try to observe more clearly, the number of set bits of x and y is 0, the number of set bits of 0 and 1 is 1, similarly 1, and sum of 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Similarly, the sum of bitwise number of numbers of 0 and 0 is also 0 and 0 1 is 1 0 1 is also 1 and 1 1 is 2 so we can say that bit the uh, number of set bits of and and or is equal to the number of set bits of initial two numbers because here the values are more like shifting because initially both are 0 these are also both 0 and this is 0 and 1 this is also 0 and 1 this is 1 0 it is just flipped to 0 and 1 but the number of set bits remains same as 1 and when both are 1 this is also 1 so in outline we can understand that instead of looking it as involving two operations two numbers at time it is more like the number of set bits of this plus number of set bits of bits this gives the sum of this and this so we can just we can just try to find the number of set bits of all the numbers and store it in the same array or different array. We can sort it and based on an integer, for example, if the value of v of 0 is equal to 1, that is the first the set bits is 1, we can find the greater we can find how many numbers are greater than or equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. So as the array is sorted, we can do binary search on answer or lower bound or upper bound. And we can find the numbers, the number of numbers which are greater than or equal to 2 and add an answer. So the average time complexity now is n log n because we are just finding the number of set bits in all and we are sorting it and doing a binary search to get the number of pairs satisfying the given condition. Coming to its extension, let's read this first. Jordan goes to a shop to buy any shoes. After his purchase, the shopkeeper offers him a crazy refund on his bill. The shopkeeper tells Jordan that he can select any of n by 2 shoes and shopkeeper will refund the sum of square of price of those shoes. Now before buying the shoes, Jordan can perform an infinite number of following operations. Select any two pair of shoes. Let's say their cost is a and b. Update the cost of first as a or b and update the cost of second as a and b. Now Jordan wonders what is the maximum refund he can get if the number 
and cost of use are already decided. Help Jordan get maximum benefit of craziness. Return the answer modulo 1 in n plus 7. The size is up to 1 in 5 and the number is also up to 1 in 9. So this looks slightly similar to before one because we are taking a pair and updating the first one with or and the second one with and. Finally, we can select any of n by 2 shoes and we can return the sum of square squares of those numbers. So for example, if the value of v of i is less than or equal to 1 in 9, the maximum set width is 2 power is 30 because 2 power 30 plus 2 power 29 plus and so on up to 2 power 0 is less than or equal to 1 in 9 and it is not correct for 2 power 31. So the highest set width is 30. So coming to this problem, here it is given that we can have to select n by 2 shoes after modification. Let's take it as k and finally we can return this many shoes. For example, if the value is k is 4 and the values given are these, these 6 values and when written in binary, they are 101001 and so on up to 001101. So based on the before idea, the case is only reversing for 1 and 0. It is just flipping and other uh, other all cases are same 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 and 1 1 but when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 the und is 0 and or is 1 so it is just like it is transferring or flipping it so based on the similar idea we want the maximum 4 numbers because their sum of 4 squares is maximum so and also here the number of set bits also remains same of the final numbers. So we can just find the number of set bits in all bits. For example, on the first index, only three numbers are set, so it is three. In the second one, only one bit is set. In third, only fourth, and similarly all. This indicates that the zeroth bit is set in three numbers in the given array. This is one number is set in the array and so on and we want four values with sum as maximum whole square so as we have discussed that the numbers the bits the sum of set bits is same but the values are transferring from one value to other so for example let's by greedy we can try to find the maximum value that is present now because these all values can be flipped as as required as we want because by our performing under and or, the sum is re remaining same and the values are flipping only. So we can just try to find the maximum number that is possible at the present operation. For example, initially we are selecting the first number. So what is our idea? We have to get the maximum number. So maximum number of these many set bits is 111111. And all these have more than one, more than or equal to one bits. So yes, this is possible for the first operation. After this, we have reduced these count bits because we have used this. And after the fall, after the operation, the numbers left are 230033. And now we are selecting the number for second array, second number. And we try to get it as maximum as possible. So here there are two. And yes, we can select one because these all are binary numbers. We can select the only zero or one. It is 0, so we cannot select any. It is 3, yes, we can select 1. It is 0, we cannot select. And these two, we can select any one. So this is the maximum number that we can get with the choice as possible. And similarly, the next one, and similarly, next one. So we got the four maximum numbers possible. So finally, these four sum squares is the answer. But it also looks like we are wasting some numbers which are zeros because after many choices all may be remaining zero and there may be still 10 elements may, we may have to select so how is this correct let's take another, let's take another example if the values are 101 and 010 if we don't try to perform any operation the answer is 5 square plus 2 square we are not doing any and or or so the answer is 5 square plus 2 square but for example we are transferring this we are doing and and or so the and is this and or is this and now the sum of squares is 49 this is surely greater than this 
because that two square when added in the five gives maximum value than adding it individually. Five plus two whole square is surely greater than some number square plus two square. So we are sure that this idea will give maximum value because at every point we are trying the maximum value we can get. And there may be zeros left in the final, but the sum of this square is maximum than keeping some ones in these zeros. Let's discuss the code. Initially, we are inputting the number of integers and the value value of k. We have to return the answer modulo this so int mod is equal to 19 plus 7. Inputting the values. And as we discussed, the maximum set bits is 30. So we can take a vector of 31 to store the set bits, count of set bits. So traversing the whole bits and traversing the array, we can find how many are the set bits at each index. If v of j and 1 i count i plus plus 1 this is like 2 power x so we are checking whether 2 power x bit x bit is set in vj or not if yes we are incrementing that and similarly after this loop we can get get this vector count of set bits of all indexes for all numbers after that int answer is equal to 0 we have to select k element so we have we can traverse the whole loop we traverse the loop and we will select the maximum value that we can select from all the bits so for int i is equal to 0 to i is equal to i less than k int x is equal to 0 the maximum value that we are getting at the present index this is x here and we are traversing the whole bits and if the count of j is less than 1 continue because the only possible case now is count of j is 0 so there is no set bit at this position to select for now so just leave it and we will reach this when count of j is greater than or equal to 1 so we can select so we have some numbers and we can select one to get maximum value present so x or is equal to 1 is equal to 2 power j so we are adding that bit to that so it is indirectly adding 2 power j to that and we have used this now for the present maximum value so we are decreasing the count so for example initially it is 3141144144 and after taking the first one we have consumed one here so we have to decrease it so that we we take in one for the present element so count of j minus minus and after traversing the whole bits the maximum value present we can take is x so the value contribution is x square so answer is equal to answer plus x square so finally we can return the answer if you have any doubts comment below See you in the next one.